A couple years back, I released a video discussing my favorite top 10 non-fictional aircrafts in Ace Combat. Now that some time has passed and I've kind of let that go into the shadows, I've decided to do just the opposite today. With the new addition of Ace Combat 7 and there being a lot of futuristic and new technology planes inside of the franchise, I feel as though it's a good time to start talking about my favorite top 10 fictional aircrafts in Ace Combat. This top 10 will be based off of the design, the performance, and of course what are my personal enjoyments of these aircrafts. But before we really dive deep into the video, this is going to be solely based on my opinion. If you guys have your own opinion on different aircrafts that you think would fit the list better or your own top 10 list, leave them down in the comment section below. I'm very, very interested to see what you guys have to say. And with all that being said, my name is Activace and welcome to my favorite top 10 fictional aircrafts in Ace Combat. Starting off the list at number 10 is the ADFX 0102 Morgan. This plane appears in Ace Combat Zero and Ace Combat Infinity. It uses the TLS, which is the tactical laser system, as well as the MPBM, which is the multi-purpose burst missiles. I just want you guys to know, I fucking love lasers, so anything kind of new, futuristic, Star Wars-esque is going to be some of my favorite aspects of a plane. I love the sleek, slim design of the plane. It kind of reminds me of the Su-47 because because of the wing build facing frontwards instead of the other way. This plane does have a twin by the name of the ADFX-02 Morgan, which has a reinforced airframe and the ability to carry multiple weapons at once. It can be unlocked by completing Ace Combat Zero three times on the Mercenary, Soldier, and Knight Ace styles in no specific order. And, of course, Pixie flies this plane at the end of Ace Combat Zero, and honestly, fuck this guy. I don't know why I got in his tail. No, I'm just kidding. But honestly, this is one of the most unique planes. Very badass because, I mean, lasers. Here at the number 9 spot is the XO2 Wyvern. You guys know this plane very well. It appears in Ace Combat 4, 5, 0, X, Joint Assault, and Infinity. It also technically appears in Ace Combat 7 as an XO2S Strike Wyvern, which is the first variant of the XO2. They're kind of the same thing, except they're not. The most amazing design of this aircraft is that it has these forward swept wings that open up as the plane increases speed and vertical stabilizers that fold in and outward to reduce air drag as the plane slows down. As the plane slows down, they retract. This plane is simple, it's slick, and it's cool as fuck. The plane is pretty fast and has some of the best maneuverability in my opinion. Of course, the variant, which I will be kind of going off of, does have a lot of great aspects to the plane itself. I think it doesn't need any upgrades. It's already a great plane itself. That's why it sits at the top of the totem pole, obviously. Not much else to say about this plane, but honestly, just how slick it is. Here at the number 8 spot is the CFA-44 Nosferatu plane. It appears in Ace Combat 6, Ace Combat Assault Horizon. <sighs> I can't believe I just said that. Icarus in the Sky and Infinity and, well, hopefully in 7? DLC maybe? This plane is a stealth fighter. It is ironically named the Nosferatu because it put a large debt on the Estovakian economy, which is comparative to a vampire sucking up all that tax money. <laughs> The weapons it uses are the ADMM, which can lock onto 12 different targets at once. That, that just honestly boggles my mind. I mean, enough said. And boy oh boy, this thing carries the EML, which is the God-given gift to the strange real world as we know it. This thing is, of course, one of the best weapons in the game, of course, if you know how to use it. My favorite part of this aircraft is the ends of the wings. I just kind of like how they stick out a little bit and they have that little extension of the wing instead of them just completely cutting it off. The build of this plane looks extremely stealthy. It is very mobile, fast cruising speed, which means you don't really have to turn on the jets, which makes it obviously really stealthy and quick. And it also has reduced stability which you kind of give up for you know the fast cruising speed and you know the fact that this plane is actually really fast in itself this thing is a little fucking scary just the fact that how stealthy it is and you can just take out a whole fucking team with this like can can you just imagine the capabilities that this plane could have in the future especially in seven oh my 
At the number 7 spot is the ASFX Shinden 2. This plane appears in Ace Combat Assault Horizon, Icarus in the Sky, and Infinity. It is a multi-role plane, and just like the Wyvern, it has the forward swept wing build, which is one of my favorite aspects that I'm a sucker for. Just because, you know, one of my favorite planes is actually the Su-47. I'm a big fan of the back scoop that it has placed in the middle of the plane, as you can see here. It kind of just makes it look like a racing jet in a way. Just a fun little fact the creator of the Macross series, which is a mecha anime fighter game, created this aircraft. The plane isn't all that complex, but it does have a nice touch to the tail end of the aircraft. Honestly, I'm actually a bigger fan of the design of the plane over the actual usage of it. Here at the number 6 spot is the XR900 Geopila. This plane only appears in Ace Combat 3 Electrosphere. It is a fighter plane and the closest thing to the X-49 Night Raiden. My absolute favorite weapons on this thing are the laser cannon and the MIRV. It's supposed to be manned by AI, but optionally manned by a pilot, so... Yeah, I mean, Ace Combat 3 kind of made it a little confusing, as if this is an actual manned air pilot. The design reminds me of one of those bladeless fans that somehow blows into your room. The red and white plane skin is stellar, absolutely beautiful, and one of my favorite color combinations. Here at the number 5 spot is the ADF-11F Raven. Now this thing only appears in Ace Combat 7, which makes it pretty unique on its own. It is a 7th gen fighter in the ADF series, and the coolest futuristic thing about this plane is that it is a combination of two aircraft into one. The cockpit can be used as either a drone with AI or to be piloted by mankind itself. This plane has amazing capabilities such as turning tighter and faster than other planes and it can carry two weapon UAVs which support the ADF-11 itself. This thing has some of the coolest next gen technology that you can imagine and Dr. Schroeder almost ruined the world with this. Can you imagine Mahali's data being uploaded into this thing. The two weapons this thing uses are the TLS and the QAAMs. QAAMs. Oh, yeah, that's, that's cool. Next at the number 4 spot is another one of the ADF series planes, which is the ADF-01 Falcon. This plane appears in Ace Combat 2, Ace Combat 5, 0, 10, 11, Joint Assault, Assault Horizon, and last but not least, Infinity. It is a fighter aircraft, and my first thoughts about the design of this plane is that the cockpit gives me strong vibes of the Reggie Trio from Pokemon. Is that just me? Anyway, those things right there that are kind of giving me those vibes are actually cameras and sensors inside the plane. The Falcon appeared in Ace Combat 2 as one of the first original planes in the franchise as an unmanned aircraft. And if you thought the ADF-11 was cool, wait till you hear this. The pilots control it while lying down with eye movement and voice commands. And of course, one of the greatest little aspects of this plane is that it uses the TLS, aka more lasers. And one of my favorite little additions to this thing is the standard color in Ace Combat Zero is the absolute fucking pinnacle of any aircraft design. Ugh, you know, I just love me some red. Here at the number 3 spot is the XFA-33 Fenrir. This plane appears in Ace Combat X, Joint Assault, and Infinity. It's a multi-role aircraft, and first of all, this thing uses a high-powered microwave? <sighs> Man, pizza rolls must be good as fuck in this thing. This thing creates a big lightning ball that basically blows up enemy aircraft fuel tanks. It's kind of a little breathtaking honestly and just a tad horrifying. Just imagine being struck by a big thing of lightning and boom, you're gone incinerated. The body design and cockpit especially remind me of something you would see in a Halo game. It has a nice look and is a little reminiscent of the F-22A Raptor in my opinion, but with a little more flair. To say the least, it has a fucking microwave. Coming up to the number two spot is the XFA-27. First of all, this aircraft is the only plane without a designated name, just the design number. Can we please adopt a name for this beaut? It appears in Ace Combat 2, X, 11, Joint Assault, Assault Horizon, 
and Infinity. In Ace Combat 2, it is a fighter plane, but it is a multi-role in all the other Ace Combat games afterwards. This thing has the longest nose ever. I mean, look at this thing. What are you, fucking Pinocchio? Okay, in all serious though, this is another one of the original aircraft designs in an Ace Combat game. It's extremely sleek, it has an amazing red and white color scheme, which y'all should know by now, I'd die for something looking this good. What makes this plane so unique is that it can quickly fire off four missiles at once. Similar to the ADF-01 Falcon, it partially uses the coffin technology with the cameras only below the cockpit, as well as a normal glass canopy. Just a fun little fact, the XFA-27 appears as a guest character in Pro Baseball Femista 2011. W what? And finally, last but not least, here taking the number one spot is the X-49 Night Raven. This thing appears in Ace Combat 3 and Infinity only, and I, I just gotta say, y'all are witnessing the most amazing, sleek, gorgeous, an efficient aircraft that has ever touched the face of Strange Room. Okay, but on a serious note, it's just one of my personal favorites. In Ace Combat 3, it is designated as an advanced fighter and a multi-role aircraft in Infinity. The interesting pass about the X-49 is that in order to control this plane, you had to undergo an artificial nerve surgery specifically just for the Night Raven. Unfortunately, its development did end in 2033. The nickname Night Raven is supposed to be quote unquote an omen for ill fortune for the enemy <sighs> damn talk about horrifying but badass of course you know i love my star wars-esque planes and just like many of the others in this list it can fire off the tls lasers it is very similar to the xr 900 and yes the night raven also looks like this blade list fans too this thing ain't safe it's got some great maneuverability speed and personally when i played infinity it felt so perfect in my hands like i was able to dodge every missile the fucking excalibur lasers i mean this thing just did so many wonders for me if project aces were to bring back any plane in this list i would love to see the x-49 night raven make a comeback in ace combat 7 Alrighty guys, that is going to be the end of my top 10 fictional aircrafts in Ace Combat. If you guys enjoy, go ahead and give a little like, and I want to know what are your favorite top 10 fictional aircrafts. Leave them down in the comment section below. I love reading what you guys have to say. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out my other top 10 list, which is the opposite of this. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and join the link in the description down below for our Discord group. And with all that that being said, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in solitary.